Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Do Bonsai. Uh, today is the day after the day of, for the video that you're just about to see. Uh, unfortunately, the intro that I did yesterday just disappeared. It was no longer on the um, recording device. So very strangely, I was unable to do that. So in short, today we're gonna put some finishing touches to the front of the uh, newly erected greenhouse area. Uh, we're gonna put a facade on the front and just tidy that up. And uh, yeah, it's been uh, too long between videos, so let's crack on with that. And then hopefully later on today, I'll be able to get some bonsai work done. And on the channel called Let's Do Bonsai, maybe we will actually do some bonsai work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work out this angle down this side. Obviously it's not a 90 degree angle so I can't cut a 90 degree angle and expect it to, to butt up to there nice and flush. So what I've got is a joiner's bevel, um, comes with a nice rosewood handle, uh, it's made by Stanley. Uh, it's a nice piece of kit and we're just going to use this to go along this straight edge here up the top and then moving this angle we can uh, determine how much to cut off of our timber and then right up the very end we'll cut the smallest further possible before we come down and look and see what the um, the angles and the cuts need to be for down there I've got the angle for that, it's only very slightly off the 90, so I'll just uh, measure this up against our timber and just mark it up. So it's only a minor cut, but it's the full length. We'll get that cut off and um, come back and get it fitted. So with that end taken off, we've got a slightly cut down edge. I'm just gonna put it up against the existing timber and just see what we've got to work with, how much we need to take off. I know at that end, it's not gonna be a great deal but we may need to just remove the uh, the guttering and then uh, just see what we've got to work with because it is taking a little bit of space for what we're working on but it looks like the edge is pretty good that's going to be quite fine there so that's that's good it's holding its position so we'll just get the gutter in removed ever so slightly just rearrange things here and then we'll get that edge square the timber off at that end so that we can fix it back and start putting our bits on so this timber here just needs to be cut so that it will go around this timber here so it'll be a it should be a flat cut but it'll be an angled cut on this because of obviously the timber coming down at an angle so we'll we'll press it up against it and measure this angle try and mark it with a pen or pencil if possible um, but uh, yeah it'll be a little bit awkward but as long as it's as near as damn it it will be fine
So we've just got some rough markings there. I'm going to straighten that up and make it a lot better, you know, visible for the cutting. And then I'm just going to cut that out with the multi-tool and proceed on from there. So you may or may not have noticed there was a bit of burning coming off the uh, the blade as it was cutting through the, the wood. Um, it was a little bit blunt after all the cutting that has been done recently. So uh, I couldn't be bothered really to go down and get a new blade from the shop just for this one cut. So we carried on and it cut through quite well considering but it uh, was a little bit blunt in parts of the blade. We'll just position this up and see if we need to cut much more off. It looks like we might need a couple of millimetres off just to straighten it up. Yeah, it's just a little bit tight on this angle. I'm going to try coming in from the other way just to see whether that makes any difference but it is just a little bit tight yeah it's a little bit tight and it needs a bit more <clears throat> off that edge for it to sit underneath that edge um, again we're not too worried about this finish here um, because we'll fill that in uh, we just need it to sit nicely underneath this um, this edge So we'll get that done, cut that, cut that, trim it up ever so slightly and then we'll be able to cut this back edge off here which will finish it off as nicely as it can be. So we'll just see how that slots in. That slots in almost perfect. It just needs uh, supporting at the top end, but we'll just put a line down there, and that's as close as it really needs to be for that back edge. So yeah, that's gone on nicely. So that's all cut to shape now, so let's see if we can get it fixed and fastened into position. That's going to be just about right there. So we'll get a couple of screws.
right that's gone on and solid so what we need is the edging piece to put in now we'll be able to cut this end down at the end but we'll need to just chamfer that top end ever so slightly so i've just unraveled all the <coughs> wrapping that the end pieces came in and uh, as it turns out they've delivered the wrong type of end pieces so what we'll do is we'll leave it for today and uh, i'll go and get some end pieces it looks like it's going to rain anyway so um, we'll get an end piece and tidy it up and hopefully i can take the two that they've delivered wrong back so it's the same day i've managed to go this evening and come back and i've got the proper length of uh, connection that we need which is more than long enough and all we need to do is clip it into position there's no need to trim this top edge so it'll be nice and easy to get this done i'll just position myself better in the middle Now we put the cap in, in position. And now we persuade it into position. Right, I think that'll hold for now and that's far too much banging for uh, for this evening it's uh, quarter to nine so I'm going to be really popular with the neighbours we'll just shave the end off and put the end on and uh, put the end cap and uh, we'll see where we land from there we'll just bend down the lead flashing as well yeah, there's a few uh, high bits in there but we'll worry about that tomorrow morning I'll get that cleaned up I'll just find the end cap which seems to be uh, floating around somewhere I've actually took it inside, no wonder I couldn't find it. 
first the end cap on to make it look nicer for the neighbours. <clears throat> That's the roof, pretty much all in position now. We'll just come out and tap this down tomorrow morning and we'll just drop that edge of flashing down just to tidy that up. And then this can all be painted up and tidied up and made to look nice and pretty. So all's looking good inside, things are nice and green and growing well. There's the catalpas that need to be transplanted into a bit of a forest and we'll probably lose most of that green, but a little bit of excitement here. We have a new backdrop in position and by the pull of that lead, that wire if we like, it drops down all the way and we've got a nice fixed backdrop where we'll be able to work at and you'll be able to see the trees as they go in and as we're working on them so that's going to be nice and exciting we'll probably have the workstation a little bit further forward and that'll be able to go all the way down so it'll fall down behind the workstation and that'll be the view that we get so that's going to be it for today from here in Let's Do Bonsai. I'll finish off the little tapping down of the roof in the morning. We don't need to see that. And then pretty much we're all done and dusted. Just got to fix the, the Wi-Fi unit to the wall up above, which again, I'll do that tomorrow. Nothing exciting to see there. A couple of screws drilled in and then it hangs on the wall nicely. So that's it from Let's Do Bonsai for today, as I've just said and said again. Um, I've got an exciting week coming up next week. I'm going to try and get some bits of bonsai work done in between, but uh, next Thursday I'm actually going down to Heron's Bonsai. I'm going to visit uh, Heron's Bonsai and have a, a look round, and if I'm lucky I'll get to meet uh, the great Peter Chan and uh, maybe have a little chat and a conf lab with him if, uh, if he's not too busy. I know he's a very busy guy, um, but it'll be really nice to uh, catch him and, and say hello if we can. Um, but until then, obviously, that's it for today. Again, saying it again. Um, make the best of the rest of your day. If it is the end of your day, then have a great tomorrow. Until, until that time, you know, if you go outside, if you can, wear a mask. Be kind to others, animals and the planet. And as always, I'll see you again in the next one.